Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Jones Mustache. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing swell. Well, we're talking about Matt Nabby, but just Matt today. Matt has been on the internet creating himself a little bit of what you would call a persona of evil. He's becoming a person that people really, really hate, and I don't think he cares. Actually, I think he's curating this look for some reason. I don't know what's going on. He likes to be hated, I guess. We're going to talk a little bit about it today because that's what we do here at the Dad Challenge Podcast. So let's let's go. Okay, so Matt released this video called I Became Single for 36 Hours, which is stupid because you don't become single. You just... Go on a trip is what he's doing. He's going to Nashville, I guess, to record some music or something. Before we get to the video, I just really want to talk about this post that Matt made on Instagram. And we're going to read some comments. But this is this is the image that Matt is curating for himself. Abby was getting pumped full of pain meds, and it seemed like nothing could possibly yeah. go wrong. Our family Bella. and friends came. We sang happy, Weirdo. happy birthday to our son. But the atmosphere quickly turned. The first night, we got four hours of sleep combined. The hospital staff was... Four hours of sleep combined. Okay, you had a baby. Super nice, but they had to come in our room and run tests on mom and baby for what seemed like every hour on the dot. They were Welcome to having a baby. A lot of diaper changes and tear shed, and then it was time what? for Abby to walk after. Like, this is a, too many rings, dude, but that's what's having a baby. Having a C-section less than 24 hours before. I was very impressed. I could tell she was in pain. She was doing a really good job of hiding it, but it wasn't the physical pain that wrecked us. It was actually the emotional. It felt like the world was ending. Now, even in the moment... You had a baby. What? We knew that this was only temporary and it wasn't true, but it still felt very real for us. I was struggling... Story time. Gus rolled in poop today. For some reason, I don't know why he just rolled around in poop. So he had to get sprayed with the hose. Now he stinks even more. To juggle taking care of my healing wife and new baby, and Abby felt overlooked. Look, having a baby is an incredible thing. There's nothing more beautiful than creating a new life with the one that you want. Why wear ugly hats? But, but it's definitely not easy to What's this hat? ...to that new life when you're sleep deprived and recovering from a major abdominal surgery. If you're sleep deprived and recovering from a major abdominal surgery, whatever you said there, why are you filming it? The priority should be healing and getting sleep, but no, this guy has to have a camera on every two seconds, giving his wife, by the way, in this image that you're seeing right now, his wife who's healing, who's sick and everything else and whatever, is filming. Turn it off, dickhole. So if you're a new parent and you're overwhelmed, just know that you're not alone. Thanks. Thanks, Captain Tips. Anyway, I, he, this guy upsets me. See, our full video in the first 48 hours of the newborn, imagine say, complaining about all the things that are going on, but the, also filming it. Your priorities are way off, wiener. And then look at the comments. This is what I want to talk about. Matt, I'm sorry, but what exactly are you recovering from? <laughs> he didn't sleep well. <laughs> His beauty sleep was dis distributed. That's, I mean, she meant to say disturbed. The fact that you included yourself in the afterbirth recovery Yikes. Gee, I wonder why she felt overlooked. Yeah, exactly, since he's filming it all for the internet and strangers. I despise men, how they are so inconsiderate of women like this, especially. And this is what bugs me. Legit, Ashley Taylor is like, I despise men. And Matt is like, that's his fault, not my fault. Don't use Matt to be like this, how all our men are. But these dickholes on the internet, like Matt, give us all a bad name. I wasn't like this when my kids were born. I was hands on, doing whatever I could to make my wife comfortable, doing whatever it took. My sleep was secondary to everything my wife needed. Matt's just a complainer. But I don't know if he's doing this because he, he knows it gets some clicks and views and lots of comments because they hate him. But Matt, that's not a that's not a good plan for long term success, bro. Not like I want you to anyway. Shame on Matt for making the entire YouTube video but himself. The way you're addicted to the camera, bro, it's sick. Get some help. 2,300 likes on that. It wasn't the physical pain that wrecked us. Dude, of course you're not in pain, but your wife is. I can't stand this guy. And the fact that you had to record during the mayhem of it all is insane. He didn't have to do anything there, lady. He didn't have to record at all. He could just be a normal person and experience this like a human. Guys, please stop. Your wife has done one of the hardest things a human can do. Your whining is really making other dads look bad. Boom. 
Anyway, so that goes on to say this is who Matt has become on the internet. He has become someone people hate because he's a selfish prick. And that's that's who he is. I don't think he's ever going to recover from that. Abby clearly doesn't mind, doesn't bother her. And so this is who they are. I, do I think this is going to last? Probably not. These 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 family vlogger marriages, they're never real. They don't last because they're just not real. And if Matt is actually that kind of guy and they got married super young and don't know anything else, I just feel like maybe she's in for it. But they made a commitment, as you can see here. Let's take a look at this video of Matt being single. Unless they have an agreement, you're not single. You're still married. I'm a married man, but for the next 36 hours, I'm becoming single. I'm no. For the next 36 hours, you are traveling. Why can I do literally... That's... Again, he is trying to curate this image for himself. I don't know why. Why, if you have the opportunity to make yourself look good, would you not? Why would you want to look bad to people? Why would you want to curate that you're an asshole to everybody? Like, I understand that it translates to clicks, but so does being a good person, too. Like People like good people. So why do you want to come across as a wiener? It doesn't even make any sense to me. He has the ability to shape what the internet sees about him, even though it is fake, whatever. But he has the ability to do it, and he chooses to be the villain? That doesn't make any sense to me, especially for a narcissistic butthole like him. Everything he does. So knowing how to exist in society by myself is a struggle. Yeah. So knowing how to exist in society and carrying a tripod around and putting it on me like far away in the airport is a struggle. Is this yet yeah, struggle, you weirdo? <laughs> So he's asking strangers to get pictures of him and then he puts that part in the video. Nice. I'm taking a trip to Nashville to record music, and here are my objectives. Navigate the airport, fly to Nashville, record a song, explore the city, socialize, make friends, sleep on a food time, keep my voice healthy, record another song, catch an afternoon flight, and arrive home in... Is this how you record song? Yes! Nope! That's a no for me. Time for dinner. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can go back to bed. Yeah, you need to go back to bed. Yeah, you have people there helping you guys, so... Spare me. Spare me. But also, if you have a newborn at home, probably don't make travel plans, I guess. I don't know. Just me. Me being me. Selfish, I guess. But like, seriously, if your wife just had a baby and you're recovering from C-section and it's like not been a couple, like wait months is what I'm saying. Wait till she's fully recovered completely. Then maybe we'll figure it out. Matt's selfish though. Matt Matt travels a lot for himself because it's all about Matt. Matt wants to do music. And look, I'm all about... You know, if you want to pursue music, go for it. Music is a great thing. It's very good for the soul. And Matt's not that bad at it. Although he's not going to go anywhere with it. Like, that's like me trying right now to record albums and, like, make it. There's, like, I record music because I love music, and maybe that's what he's doing it for, but it's not what he's doing it for. But, you know, I love recording music because I never want to lose it. I never want to lose that ability. Um, actually, Kathy's Christmas song's coming out soon. All I have to say is I'm glad he's doing it, but at the same time, wrong time. And then he's like, I'm single. And then I'm traveling. I'm for me, 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 I. Usually it's the woman on these family vlogs that is generally the one who runs it all and is the person that I come after because they are the main character. Matt is the main character here. Matt has main character syndrome. Matt is the Jess fam of this. He's the Mike Stoffer of this channel. Abby is not. I actually like Abby. After that last conversation they had where she's like, I don't want to tell people my problems because like, F that. I loved it. When she, she's a, she's self-aware. She also doesn't want to do this. You can tell. She's kind of forced to do it. But Matt is the, is the main character here. He's the diva. And so when he's traveling, like, so not only is he making videos where he's complaining about himself, wearing ugly hats and too many rings, he, I'm honestly perplexed that he is curating this image of himself and he has, he doesn't have to. I think the closest for my flight. So, typically, Abby navigates the airport. I'm having to do that myself today, so... Typically, Abby, now you don't know how to navigate an airport? He's such a lie. Again, and the other thing he wants to curate of himself is looking like a complete and utter moron. He's self-deprecating because he thinks that draws people. But it actually makes it worse for him. Some people, self-deprecating humor and all that. I, I, I do self-deprecating humor. It's because, you know, it, I'm, I'm a potato. I get that, right? Matt doesn't do it. He does it facetiously. Like, he's like, he does it, like, ironically. Like, I'm not stupid, but I'm stupid, you know? <laughs> but I'm not, right? You know I'm not, right? But, like, you know how to navigate an airport, but you've traveled probably a million times in your life. Stop being an idiot. I'm sure that I can still get on the plane. Okay. Oh, wow, there's literally no line because it looks like they already fully boarded the plane. I flew Frontier because I like to save that money <laughs> and I didn't want to pay extra for priority seating, so, of course, I was sat in the second-to-last row of the plane. So here's the... How did you film that? Are you getting people to film for you? 
game plan. I'm so here, I'm going to walk you behind the sauce. I'm going to see. I'm going to walk you through the process of how the sausage is made. He has to step outside the airport, put his camera on a tripod, walk back into the airport, then walk back out. Never forget that that's what these people do. And if you got to see it from the sidelines, you'd be like, "You're crazy and dumb." Producer Jacob is picking me up here in a couple of minutes. We've never really hung out before. My producer? It's not a producer. Some dude in his basement. I've only just done like FaceTime calls with him to write music. This will be our first song we've ever done together. And um, some random person is just smiling at me. I think she's trying to flirt with me. No. Where am I wearing? Even though I'm being single for the day, I'm still wearing this. See, why does he keep saying I'm being single for the day? I'm wearing. Even though I'm single for the day, I'm wearing my wedding ring. What? What are you, Matt, are you, again, I honestly think that's why he's truthfully, purposely doing this for the engagement it gives him. He doesn't mind if he's the dickhole. He's not like this probably in life. He's not going to cheat on his wife, I don't think. He's purposely doing this for videos, for clicks, for this. It's really weird, man. I want the ladies to know that I'm taking What up? I'm bringing it in, man. You don't know this guy and you're hugging him? Weird. You're picking me up. I appreciate you, dude. Nice super. Well, you're paying him, Matt. Of course he's gonna pick you up. You're paying him money. True. It was good. By the way, have you eaten lunch yet today? I have not. If you're not, we have enchiladas at home. Oh wow. Oven. That's like, oh wow, I wanted Chick-fil-A, but that's enchiladas are good too. That sounds good. Oh, oh, that's super that's kind. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't eat that when I get home. So. Oh, sick. I'm from San. This guy saves his money. St. Louis, Missouri. So when I was a kid, I never quite appreciated what Nashville had to offer. I just kind of viewed it as a country music hub, but now that pop music is. Ex <laughs> We're at the studio. That's what I'm saying. This is my studio. Like, a studio don't need to go to world-class studios anymore, even though I know one of my closest friends or they own a world-class studio. I mean, like Bieber records there. Like, I think Rush was recording there in their, in their day. Like, the studio is amazing. If you can afford it, it's incredible. But you don't need to do it anymore. But they call it a studio. He's going to a townhouse. Floating in Nashville. It's right up my alley. See, he had to get out, set the tripod up across the parking lot, then get out of the car and record himself. Like, yes, do everything three times. That's not enchiladas. That's nachos. Mmm. Okay. It's up. Okay. All right, we're going in the. No, I didn't like that. Studio now. Whoa. So this guy looks like a private producer's worship music. Oh, dude. Yeah. Whoa. Yo, dude. Studio time. It's a, it's a room in his townhouse. One, two, three, four keyboards. Five, yes. Wait, there you don't need four keyboards anymore in this world. You, he's got a MIDI trigger on his thing right there which then connects to main stage or whatever you need to connect to. You don't need all these keyboards. It's ridiculous. Silly. The fifth one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Why? Why do you have five keyboards when you're just using MIDI? You're right. I'm excited, dude. I just feel like something about being in Nashville just makes my creative brain excited. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. You have weird ears, dude. You have weird ears. It's like family dog has some weird thing about him. His ears are weird. Right? Am I just looking at that weird? Create. Here's lock now. Maybe that's why he wears tall hats, because he want you to see his ears. His ears are weird. Oh, Music City, USA. That's well, right. you're, you're in Music City in my townhouse. Right, Music City, baby. <laughs> Although, look, I mean, my, my producer in Nashville, his name's Kyle, he's really, 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 really good. Records right out of his living room, too. And again, I'm not making fun because I, I record here. And this is, you don't need a world class studio, but stop saying you're going to a studio. We're here in the studio. Here goes nothing, hot dog. <laughs> Maybe I should do a vocal warm up. Nice lips or turtle tongue. <laughs> Like trigger, triggering me. Story time. When I was a worship pastor, or did any performance, I would do this. I would put it on in my car, five o'clock in the morning. I'd be, I'd be honey and tea, like gurgling it, and be like, <laughs> like all day. It triggers me. But you should warm your vocals up. You should. He's right. <laughs> it's not gonna help though. Probably should have done this an hour ago. All right, buddy. Way before this, you should have warmed up. I have an issue. We can't decide on the lyric. It's either two separate... 4.30 and you can't decide... Okay. Two separate beds in the same house. We haven't slept in a day now. Same house where we haven't slept in a day now. Maybe I should ask Abby. Those are not bad lyrics. Those are bad lyrics, dude. Abby? <laughs> Oh, do you like the lyric, two separate beds in the same house, or we haven't slept in a day now? How, the context of those two lines are completely separate and different. Like, I don't know. 
What is the song? Does he did he release it? This guy's got 137,000 monthly listeners, and his music's garbage. Impure, I love you right now. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm glad he's pursuing this, but I can't. I can't. I can't! So it's like saying, hey, like maybe times are hard, but we can still enjoy the here and now. I feel like more people could relate to having something in a day now, but two separate beds in the same house kind of is more specific to our story. Okay. Wait, what? They just sleep in two separate beds? Is this guy so up his own ass he can't even sleep in a bed with his wife? You're like 23, dude! I like it. Okay, my son just, Griffin just hung up on me. It's boom, boom. Boom, I like right now, but yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah, we're adding so, yeah. boom. <laughs> this guy first was like, oh my god, just baby, bro. Boom, boom, yeah, I like right now. Like pretty, pretty much, yeah, I like right now. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Yeah, I like right now. I don't know. Ah, freaking poop. Yeah, I like right now. Ugh, flat. I'm not, look, I'm not a good singer, but I produce music. Guys, he's using the Yamaha HS4s on books. I got the HS eights just so be jealous. <laughs> well, why do you do like a gritty like? Yeah, I like right yeah, now. It's too far away from the mic. Who is this producer guy? Too far away, buddy. Too much room reflection. What's going on? Use one of these. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I like right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like right now. No. No. That was it. That's Let's it. go! That's the, one. That's the one. That's the one. If I could change a single thing, I would Oh, he does the thing where he changes the way he t talks and is Yeah, you can king, you can go king. I don't like when people do that. Sing with your voice. Sing it. Don't change the way that you phrase things in your songs again, a mouthful of marbles. I don't like that. I don't like it. There, it's called I Like It Right Now. We've been I don't wanna do this thing, just single thing. Nope. Okay, buddy. Nope. Why does he sing like he got kicked in the nuts, too? It's not even a townhouse, it's an apartment. Oh, I, can see the future, I, I gotta, like, change the tone of this music or I'll get copyright strike. Oh, see? You see? Holy cow. How stupid that is, right? Ow. What a view of the city. One of my goals along this journey of being single for 36 hours. Oh, uh, Matt. Stop. Just to make some new friends. And Jacob, I feel like it's safe to say that we we might be friends now. He doesn't like you. I could tell. Producers don't like people. That's Tyson. Okay? I like people. I'm different. I'm a different type of producer. But he doesn't. This guy's a loner. And he's probably decent at what he does. The music sounds pretty good. Mix was decent. But he doesn't like you. So. What do you think? I, <laughs> he doesn't like you. He goes to church, so he plays in a worship band. All right. We've eaten enchiladas together. We just That wasn't an enchilada. That was, that was straight nachos. Finish the song. Can we shake on that? Let's do it. We shake on being friends. <laughs> hey, Fred. We're now friends. No, you don't, Matt. You paid this guy for him for his services. It's not, okay. your, it's not your friend. That's awesome. Abby encouraged me to go. And he's watching this and laughing because he knows he's not your friend. Partied up in Asheville. So Jacob and I invited over this dude named Asher that I never. Asher's a bass player. One hunter or a bay or a drummer. He's one of the two. Met before in person. I'm about to meet a new friend, Asher. It's not your friend. Okay, here we go. What up, dude? Oh, he's a producer. What up? Probably drums. Well, so happy you're here, dude. I made it. I Don't. Cross fingers with weird strangers, man. What's wrong with you? I know you're single for 36 hours, but you're hanging with dudes. Is that what's going on? <laughs> okay. I love how we're holding hands. That's so cute. I it's like a bunch of guys. Not. That's being dudes. Uh -huh. This is not what dudes do. This is awesome. After so. Is this guy for real? Realizing I said goodbye to Jacob and his wife. We even high fived. It was super cute. I'm not. Yeah, his wife doesn't like you either. We trouble opening the store for some reason. All right, my Uber just arrived. I'm headed out to Michael's house to go sleep on his couch. And this guy's a millionaire, literally a millionaire from social media. Millionaire. Probably makes over a million dollars a year, maybe more than that. A year, easily. Easily. And he's sleeping on some dude's couch? And record another song in the morning. I think he's trying to look, I'm like, you know, I'm a normal pleb like you, pores. And I'm just pores. Morning. The songs to produce, like that, it's not cheap. It's like three, four thousand dollars, depending on the producer. I, I produced with a guy in Florida who produced Under Oath, They're Only Chasing Safety. It was $5,000 for three songs, and this was over 12 years ago. Okay? And so, now I can't imagine if the if the guy's talent is on par. I mean, you're looking... If you got a guy who can produce really good music, like they can charge whatever they want. It is really expensive to do it if they're good at it. 
I I can do it myself. I can produce music. I can edit and do all that kind of stuff. But I would much rather find someone who's way better than me. How are you tonight? Good, good. Wow, your car smells amazing. Okay, I made it to Michael's apartment, and he's gonna come through that door and pick me up and, and bring me into his house. And go stay. Though. If I had this kind of money, better believe I'm sleeping on my own king size bed, where no one's gonna interrupt me, and I'm gonna splay out. Spread eagle. You go to bed in his bed. In his, in his You're gonna go to bed in his bed? That's nice. <laughs> what is that, Michael? Michael, what up, dude? Dude, bro! How you doing? Thank you. Michael, my, my, Michael Ice also doesn't like you. Michael's the OG. We made Falling in Love together. The song. Mm. Hey, thanks for doing that other song with me. I'm doing this other producer now. Song that was on the birth video for our second son, Augie. Wait, I have to ask. Is he writing this or is he using artificial intelligence? Did I did I totally forget to ask him? Listen to this room, though. You can hear it. He's got a tall tree. You see those sound panels? That's awesome. I can sleep at your place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask him if he could stay over. I forgot. It was an accident. I had to make arrangements for this. <laughs> I figured that was planned, Yeah. But then you didn't have direct. I, I like that room with the bass catchers in the corner. This is my this is my jam, everybody. Like this was me years ago and I used to produce a lot of hip hop. I produced all my record stuff from my last one. Um but like this is I miss it. I totally thought I asked you in my brain, and then when you sent that text to me, I was like, oh crap. What a day. I Honestly, just feel so grateful to be here. This is just a oh, here it is. No shirt. Sure. New journey for me, and it's been something that I've wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. And thankfully, because of TikTok, I get to go on this journey of making music. Okay. Yeah, but you're not real. You're just making music. You're not touring. You're not getting a band together like I am. Excited. Again, I I challenge you, Matt. Battle of bands. You have way more money than me. You can hire the world's best musicians who won't even like you. And I have my friends who are the best musicians. Battle of the bands. Are you down? I'll go wherever you are. Nashville, whatever you want, buddy. Show you how to do it. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. I'm gonna go to bed now. It's past me. If I win, you take your kids off the internet forever. All your old kids videos. If I lose, I'll never talk about you ever again. Bedtime. Okay, the light's not turning off. Oh, there's a light up here. Yeah, still turn your camera off too there, wiener face. I turned that off too. Hey, Hi hat, too many rings. That just got really, really dark. Really? The lights went off and it got dark? Matt, do you like wax and stuff? Nobody should be that smooth. Okay, I literally just woke up. A little nervous. Yeah. So but I had to set my camera up first before I literally wake up. I don't know if my voice is going to be strong enough to sing this, but I have to. No. You just, when you wake up in the morning, you just do your vocal exercises. Grab some hot tea, some honey, straight up. Boom. There's this little spray you can get called Entertainer Secret. You're welcome. Okay? You spray that shit right on your vocal cords, and it's like, <coughs> oh, it makes me gag so hard, but it coats your vocal cords. You do your warm-ups. You go for a nice walk. No, this is too cold. Then don't. Drink some nice room temperature water, gargle it, then just do your warm ups. You'll be fine. It takes about an hour, but yeah, nothing easy comes fast. Because if I don't, then, then, I, then it's like, what's the point, right? Good morning, Mike. Stupid idiot. Good morning. Thanks for waking up to make this music with me. I'm all tired. But... <laughs> <laughs> Musicians waking up early. Like, what is this? <laughs> you literally just woke up. Like, you, I, did, I heard your alarm go off like two minutes ago, and then you walked out. <laughs> Fake teeth. <laughs> Michael's waffles were the highlight of my morning. They are you not poured on the waffle. Delicious. I had two of them, and while they might have 82% of my daily value of sugar in just one waffle alone, it was worth it. Oh my god, that is so good. Stop setting up cameras in weird locations and filming yourself. Oh my god. Abby, we need to get these honey. They're the best waffles in the world. No offense to the homemade waffles you make. I think they're amazing. These are they're not. Abby, I agree. You're not a good cook. Just somehow even better. I love you. We're singing songs. Man, you're like a six foot three dude with a deeper ish voice. Why do you sing like this? Sing with your voice, dude. Use your voice. Don't do something else because you think you need to do it because it makes you sound silly. You sound silly. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to be Justin Timberlake, and he's not. 
<laughs> I can go and pee for the five million time. With the cup? I've been chugging a lot of water. You don't have to chug that much water in your sink. Just like, again, room temperature. Setting up a camera while you have to piss to the point where you're going to tinkle your pants. And then, but you have to set up a camera first? Oh my gosh. Meow, meow, meow. You're an idiot. Meow, 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 What the heck? Wow, dude, this song's fire. Once No, this song's garbage. It's all produced out. It's going to be so beautiful. The song I wrote with Michael is called Buried in My Mind. This is the first buried in my mind. Let's take a listen here. Oh, it's not out yet. Okay. Sad song I've ever written. And it's an expression of missing the person that my wife used to be. <laughs> what? What? Missing the person my wife used to be? I don't know if you understand the connotation of what you just said there. But I, is he doing this again on purpose? Missing who my wife used to be, meaning that he misses this thing that he loved, wanted, wants back. Who she used to be? What are you saying, you idiot? Are you really this dumb? We've known each other since eighth grade, so I've seen her completely change over the years. Part of me misses the old her, just like... You did not write a song about how your wife is worse now than she was then. You did not do that. Tell me you didn't do that, dude. And you wonder why you have haters on the internet, most of which are women. Look, so my haters come at me because like they think I like berated my wife because she asked a stupid question one day. Because that's my wife. She's overly cautious and I love her for it. Okay? I ask stupid questions too, and she roasts me in kind. We have playful banter. That's who we are. Okay? I am this person to everybody. You can ask anybody. Okay? That's who I've always been. And people like look want me to be like the worst husband in the world. They, people like are wishing my wife and I would get divorced. She's like, I hope Kathy's planning her exit and all this. Like, are you 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 hate me so badly that you want my family to be broken up? That's how badly. Anyway, I understand. This is actually the red flag you should look out for. Not me having playful banter with my wife because you guys, that's not it. She thinks her questions are valid. And so maybe sometimes there. And I was wrong about the couch thing. Apparently, if you do put a flat couch on a vent. It's dangerous, but our couches aren't flat. They have space above them. Anyway, all that to say, I love my wife, and you guys know that. This guy is writing songs about how he misses his old wife. Oh my gosh! Abby deep down misses the old me. Harmonies, baby. <gasps> Let's freaking go, baby! <laughs> Ow! We just had a groundbreaking moment. Can you play that? No, you didn't. Back for us. We nailed it. We nailed the, the vocal, you guys. I was a person that you used to be. I was the person that you used to be. What kind of lyric? You suck at lyrics. Woo! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> this guy's a little bit more into it. That was so good. The other guy was like, I don't like this guy. Ow! <laughs> okay, we made it to the airport. It is time to go home to Abby and try to make it home in time for dinner. Michael, it's been a pleasure, dude. Thank you for that. It was white. So white. Your ears! Look at his ears! I said it! That was not a good idea. That's <laughs> weird ears! Alrighty, let's go home. Thanks, dude. Take Don't care. Don't forget to set the camera up in weird spots again. Okay, so our new goal right now is to make it home in time for dinner. My flight, as of right now, lands at 5 o'clock. Last time I left Nashville after a recording session, my flight had to leave. And I just well, maybe it'll be the same. Stay another day. Also, I gotta point this out. Don't fly Flare, American Air. Delta so far has been like a hundo percent. Like, 10 for 10. Delta. So, I'm really Love Delta. Hoping that doesn't happen again today. Okay, I'm doing that thing right now where I get to my gate. And Do that thing right now where I set my tripod up and then have to run back and grab it. Make sure it's there. I think we're good. Uh, this is weird, buddy. It says Phoenix, so that's where I'm headed. I think that's a good sign. I literally just did a circle. You dumbass. I just realized that. Because... Again, he, this is... He's not the stupid. He wants you to think he is. But maybe he is. After writing a song about how I wish my wife was the one... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry, but if Abby hears that, and that's like the, like your, if your songwriting is the overflow of your emotions in your heart, you should keep that to yourself, bro. Okay? That is a recipe for disaster. You're literally telling your wife you want her to be who you married and she's not anymore. My, like most people, as you age, you get better. My wife is a fine wine. She way better now than she used to be like. And with kids that came in, my wife is just better. She swears a little bit more. It's kind of fun sometimes. After, actually, story time. She's a nurse. And 
my wife very rarely swears like very very rarely did she ever swear in her life right or like very not negative at all always roots for the underdog like i'm never do <laughs> and she's always like well she always gives people the benefit of the doubt she's a sweetheart right she just that's who she is she's just who she was raised to be but man after becoming a nurse for the past six months potty mouth alert you nurses man you swear a lot just saying TSA. TSA is right over there. That's where I just came from. And I just walked in a big loop all around here. And now I'm back to where I started. So. Dumb. I'm an idiot. Yep. <laughs> oh, just get on the plane. If I was behind on the friggin' walkway waiting for you to take, I'd be like, get on the plane, loser! Right, I guess we're going to get started. Just be walking on. Yes, record already. So. You already put this in the video. Right. That's so stupid. That guy hates you. <laughs> you moron. I'm afraid to lose you after all we've been through. He's trying to be what's his face. Forget his name. Breakfast and daisies in our bed. You have flowers in your bed? That'd be uncomfortable. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I'm glad. Again, I, I will always say pursue music. If you even if you've never done it, pursue music. It is a good outlet for your soul. But be better. <laughs> just say it. Sometimes just leave that crap to yourself. I have about one thousand songs you'll never hear. Okay, for good reason. I have a whole list. Of, okay. Am I gonna bring them up to you? Okay, I, 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 let me see if I can find them. Okay, real quick, real quick. I'm gonna show you what it's like to just kind of leave some songs in the old, uh, don't bring them out, you know what I'm saying? I have this thing called quantity over quality. And my, my haters were actually found an old podcast of mine where they're like, oh my God, I can't believe he said quantity over quality. Look, songwriting, it's one of the earliest tips I ever learned from a great songwriter. Write as many effing songs as you possibly can. Almost all of them will be bad, okay? That's why you write quantity. Because of the 125 songs you write, one might be good. So you gotta get all those bad ideas out of your brain so the good ideas come through. So you always write, never stop writing. So let me see if I can find these songs for you. And I'll see. <laughs> I've never done this. Hold on, yeah, my songs never have titles. Oh, this is Tyson. Is that Vento? Is that Vento? Okay, this is good. This is Tyson. Woo! He's good! Give me shivers. I'm so proud of my son. He's so good. Anyway, let me see what else I have here. This is a heartbeat for rewrite. See, these are all rough copies, right? Here's from my worship days. Some of these are bad. I, I tend to write music first, by the way, which is weird. I don't write lyrics first. This one's called Love. Ooh, I remember this one. Get that four on the floor. That's, see, that's why. That's why we don't leave it all out. What's this one? Rough Mix 1, 2016. Ooh, I remember this. This is live, I remember this. Wow, man, it's been a long time. And then this one. This is the one where it's like, I used to think this was a good song. Yeah, 
Anyway, that's enough of that. That's why you just, maybe you don't put out songs. Even if they sound good to you at the time. Check them. <laughs> Make sure your wife thinks they're cool. I think I see her. Did your wife come pick you up? What is your sign say? We're so happy you're back. And she's filming. They're so oh sweet. My God. Kids like. Ah! How you doing? It's so good to see you, Augie. Ah, the Tesla Model Y. I do want one. Oh, okay. All right. He hates you, dude. Augie wants to sleep. Aren't you glad you're back? <laughs> you can tell she's been. Well, they have their. I think her mom or his mom lives, so they have help. It's good to be home. <laughs> Anyway, there it is, everybody. Stop giving us dads a bad name, okay? You're hurting all of us. We don't accept him, us dads, okay? He's a loser. Don't follow him. Plus, Matt, just do your real voice, okay? Do yourself a favor. Also, battle of the bands. Let's do it. Are you down? Chicken. Don't be a chicken. Chicken. Anyway, everybody, take a deep breath. <sighs> music. I like doing videos like this because it reminds me of the days when I was doing music, and that was like my glory days. And never stop doing music. If you're out there trying to make it, don't let Matt stop you from doing it. Like, even if you're terrible, like I am, still do it. Still do it. Still do it. Music is good for the soul. And I'm gonna tell that to Matt too. Like, still do it. Go for it. But maybe just careful what you write, idiot. Cause you make us look bad. Anyway, he's dumb. I was like, again, why is he curating himself looking like a moron? I have no idea. He's got, clearly it's making him money. Otherwise, why would you do that? Why would you want to be the villain? in your own story that you can actually write. Weirdo, anyway, you guys are awesome, not weird. Okay, you're beautiful, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget, and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>